What is up guys? Today we're heading back to Louisville, Kentucky, to the heartland of Kentucky, or so they say. All right, guys, welcome back to Bottled and Bond. Today on our Bottled and Bond series, we're headed over to Kentucky, and we're actually visiting a Brown Foreman distillery located in Shively, Kentucky, and that is the Early Times Distillery. Bam! All right, guys, so this is Early Times Bottled and Bond. I have had Early Times before, just not Bottled and Bond. This is a Brown Foreman distillery, like I said. All right, so Early Times was established in 1860, and on their website, they say that around the 20th century, whenever distilling became a more sophisticated process, they named their distillery early times because they stu stuck to their roots of uh, distilling in those early methods. The company claims that early times is the whiskey that made other Kentucky whiskeys famous. In 1940, they released their Bottled and Bond series. And in the 1950s, it became America's top selling whiskey. The mash bill on this is 79% corn, 11% rye, and 10% malted barley. Nonetheless, guys, let's open it up. Today, guys, on Bottle and Bomb, and we're gonna be doing early times. Three hours later. Can you move it along? I'm all out of time cards. Did you get it? Yeah. This is what happens when you make a tightly sealed bottle, and on top of that, <laughs> it's a freaking cat. I'll pour a little bit because it doesn't smell like it's gonna be very good. Golden caramel copper look to it. Mm -hmm. Although very uh, strong ethanol smell because you just opened it up and we haven't let the ethanol settle much, you can still pick up the caramel vanilla sweet light brown sugar note. So it's not too bad of a nosing, I'll say that much. But it is 100% proof, so it's the ethanol, it's, it's still there. Even though it's going away, I'm starting to smell more of a mushroom, a little yeast in there as well. Definitely. Some sweet caramel notes. It's it's the typical bourbon, uh, but basic. Basic, but at the same time, it's a little bit more enhanced. Just a little bit. I've had bourbons that claim to have all these different notes in it and are just shot, and I had smelled nothing but sugar. And this one has those typical good bourbon notes um, with maybe a little bit more punch. So let's sip on it and see what it's all about. Mm. Actually, that's not that bad. Very that's, smooth. It is smooth. It doesn't have a lingering effect on the back end. As soon as you put it in your palate, before you even swallow anything, no homo, you, it's, it's very sweet. And you taste the sweet notes, vanilla, caramel-like notes. And mid-palate, you start getting a little bit more of that spice. But then once you taste it, and on the back end, no lingering effect, it's not too hard, it's not smoky, it's none of that. It's a very good bourbon to drink neat or maybe with an ice cube. It's, it tastes fairly well. I will say, this tastes very similar to the Evan Williams Bottle and Bond, but I may, have, I may have to compare them both side by side because right now I'm leaning more towards this as a Bottle and Bond, but Evan Williams has been with me for so long, I'm not sure if I'm judging that right. Maybe this is what it is. This is easier to drink than Evan Williams. I will say that, Evan Williams 100 proof and Early times, Bottle and Bond 100 proof. Similar, good, sweet bourbon notes, but I wanna say this is easier to drink. I like it. For a Bottle and Bond 100 proof, I like it. And the price is cheap. You can find an early times Bottle and Bond. I've seen prices in different locations go as high as 30, 35. This one I found here in North Carolina for about 23, 24, maybe even 25 bucks but it was no more than 30 bucks, very cheap. I will say though that the Evan Williams 100 proof uh, is like 60, 70 bucks, so it's a very good early proof. 
But early times bottled and bond gets our vote. If you guys have had early times bottled and bond, let us know in the comments below. Let us know what you thought. I thought it was great. I thought it's a good bourbon, especially for the price. Go ahead and smash that like button if you like what you saw. Share, subscribe if you haven't subscribed. I'm Ozzy. I'm Amanda. This is Early Times 100 Proof Bottled and Bond from the Early Times Distillery in Shively, Kentucky. This is Bottled and Bond. Cheers. Cheers.